The next use case that I want to talk about is the one where we monitor the application and we're going to um, actually uh, have APM help us identify the root cause of a problem that our app may, may encounter. So in this case, I'm looking at experience view. I'm looking at these are health, health cards, if you will, of the various applications that I have uh, deployed uh, that I'm managing. Uh, in this particular in this particular particular case, we're going to concentrate on ticket exchange. If I go into ticket exchange, I notice that my ticket exchange web portal, okay, uh, seems to have a few problems. Um, I can see the volume at a glance, right, or what's going on on my on my application. I can see the various breakdown of responses, right, of all the requests. I can see how many of them have have been within one second, two second, two plus second, and so on and so forth. How many of them have thrown errors, right? What is the total number of errors that I've encountered? Um, so this is at a, at a at, you know, looking at the application ticket exchange as a whole. Now, obviously, the ticket exchange you know, provides various services, so not all services may be affected. I really want to understand which service do I need to uh, concentrate, which service is having a problem. So if I dive in, uh, let me make this a little smaller, I can see at a glance that, hey, you know what, the, these are the various APIs, um, well, services, if you will, that uh, ticket exchange provides that exposes and I notice right that some of them had had issues but currently if I look at this particular icon over here their, their state I can see that there is one API currently having issues right is and which is in a dangerous state and that's the view item if you look at the view item itself I'm, I'm seeing um, uh, well, we're going to go in, right? So if I look at the view item. I, I see already at a glance uh, a high, uh, an overview of what's going on, of all the requests, and the breakdown of you know transactions per per per, uh, per bucket, time bucket. Uh, but let's go in and see what, what is the problem. What is it that uh, we're observing? So if I run into the problem, um, I see that. Um, I see various things here. The first thing I see is a timeline showing me the trend of this particular API how to have, you know, in the last 24 hours. Uh, I think I'm looking at the last 24 hours. Maybe I can look at the last three minutes, right? Uh, I can see the trend. In fact, let's see uh, if I look at the last uh, two hours, I'm probably going to see that, you know, started over here, right? And, and it already started with problems, right? As soon as it got started, um, <laughs> there were issues. So here's the, the average response time. And here's the volume, and it also shows me the volume with errors. And I noticed that um, every single request uh, apparently has seemed to have uh, thrown a, an error. Um, the other thing that I see in here then is the problem itself. So it had identified a problem, and it has identified that the problem has impacted an, 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 an end user, right? So if I look at the end user, it says, yes, we indeed have a, an API, right? A view item that end users actually, the URL that end users actually click on um, has a problem. Um, so uh, that's good. So the other thing that it has identified is the various components, okay, that are involved in that problem, right? So it identified the problem, but it also identified these components, right? And actually has even uh, rendered them in the map, showing me, you know, the call sequence of the components involved. And I noticed that, yeah, this has uh, experienced a problem, but, you know, it came from the servlet, it came from the from the service, and it came at the end of the day, what it considers the culprit from the JSP itself, okay? So I can go ahead and... Uh, select uh, the culprit right i can go ahead and take a look at the uh, responses per interval for instance uh, i can see you know the various uh, responses the volume coming in and i can see the number of errors right so i have about you know i'm averaging about 110 say uh response per interval and i see that uh, i'm looking at about you know 12 13 almost 10 percent of these requests are are throwing, uh, are throwing, an, uh, uh, have an error on them, right? 
So the next thing I can do, I can do a comparison of, you know, of that particular component with, you know, uh, with uh, with how it behaved before. For instance, I I can look at it and say, okay, how, how did this component uh, behave 24 hours ago? Right? What was the pattern 24 hours ago, ago compared to how it is now? And so if I look at the last, uh, say, hour, I can see what the trend was prior to uh, what it is right now in the present. Um, the last thing we want to look at, obviously, is you know is the transaction trace. I noticed that I have a bunch of uh, transaction traces captured, but obviously I'm interested in the error ones. So I'm going to go ahead and select error type errors, uh, trace type errors, and I can see that I, I see my uh, view item errors throughout. Right, and I can even see my user in here. So if I'll select and select that, you know, any any of them, I see. Uh, let me select this one. I see the um, this particular transaction, okay, that we caught on the on the portal itself. It actually. Uh, we see the code chain, but we see that it actually an, an exceptions, right? And one of the components had a problem through an exception, through an error. So, uh, so if I, you know, just looking at this, I can I can either walk through, take a look at the summary, and see what's going on, and see, oh, you know what? Now walk through. This is the the, the various components, and I notice that I I caught this error, right? Which I can select from here, um, or I can walk through the tree, right? Uh, showing exactly um, all the interaction and how long each component took and so on and so forth. In this case, what we're interested in on this particular component, which if we expand, let me go this other way. We notice that it's a uh, item SQL map DAO component class, right? Uh, and if I look at the details of that one, I can see that um, here's the class name. Okay, uh, and, and that indeed it threw an error message, all right, where it says that this uh, uh, this is an unsupported operation exception, right? This item ID is not supported. Uh, it also shows me the method name uh, of that particular uh, uh, within that comp within that class that threw the error, uh, and if I look a little bit farther, I see the line number. Now with this. Right. Um, I have enough information to actually pass this on to uh, my level three, right, or my level two to the application guys, and be able to tell them, look, this, you know, view uh, particular API view items. We're encountering, encountering errors. Uh, here's the exception that is thrown, and it seems to identify be identifying this particular class uh, and, and and line number where the problem is, is, is coming from. Um, you know, if you're the developer or if you have access to the source code, uh, with that information, you can then easily open up you know, my item SQL map DAO, uh, be able to identify block 26, be able to identify line code 26. I see that it's a code block belonging to the method get item, just as uh, APM has identified it. And if I look at the block code, I can see that, you know what? Yes, um, it looks like, uh, you know, if you step on one of these items, uh, we get an unsupported operation, uh, unsupported operation exception. This item is not supported. That's exactly how, you know, yeah, exactly what APM reported. So with that, uh, we can see that APM helps you, you know, with the performance, the overall performance of your application. It can monitor, uh, as, you know, each service individually, each API individually. And when there is a problem with, you know, that API, because maybe of a problem within the application, Interscope is able to get you all the way to the root cause, right? Identifying the class, the method, and even the line number, the block, uh, the logic block that threw that, that exception.